Sunday morning, friends. It's so good to be back with you. I'm Susan, and I am in my new home, at home in Smithfield with Susan. I was formerly on YouTube as Susan's Cozy Condo Life. So I'm just saying that a couple videos so people will kind of put the two together. But anyway, I am glad to be with you this morning. My sidekick is over here on the sofa um, supervising me. <laughs> But I'm going to show you some updates we've done in our home since I last took you around. It's just a few things, but I wanted to show you before we embark on my haul uh, home tour. I have decorated for fall and it was kind of challenging because I, you know, I've never decorated for a particular season in this house. So I was like, oh no. And where am I going to put everything? So it, it's taken me a while. I started last week um, in between being home and being at my mom's. Um, and I'll get to that in a minute. But anyway, uh, so every time, every night I move things around, my husband gets up and says, every time I get up, you move something around. I say, yes, because I sit here and I look at it and I think of a better place for it. But anyway, I'm just going to show you today some of the few things I've added since uh, that aren't fall related since last we talked. But I do appreciate all the prayers from my sweet mama. She is out of rehab. She came out on Tuesday. I sprung her on Tuesday. She got her jet, get out of jail free card and she's at home in her apartment making a little bit of progress. She can walk around her apartment okay. Um, long stretches are still hard for her. So they they have OT and PT where she lives. So she's getting that. So it's gonna take some time, but she'll get there. And I do just appreciate all your thoughts and prayers for her. So back to what we're doing. I'm going to show you the laundry room. We did, um, add some things in there that made it a little user friendly. Um, I don't know if you remember, and I don't have a picture to put in here to show you. I just had a wire rack over the washer and dryer and all my mess cleaning stuff was all piled up. It was just a mess. So we have organized that a little bit and added a few things. So let's get started. I'll take you around and show you what we've done. I had to take a picture of the sweetest boy. Here's his ball. Bodie, say hi to the friends. Bodie, Bodie, say hi. Oh, you're mad because I'm not outside playing ball with you. Okay, well, okay. Say goodbye then. Say bye, Bodie, bye, bye. We also got this little chair last weekend, a furniture store, a local one um, that we like to shop at was having a big sale and you know I had that uh, rattan chair sitting there it was in our bedroom at the condo and I just didn't like it it just I don't know it just didn't jive so I put it back in the bedroom and we bought this I call it my grandma chair even though I'm not a grandma uh, because it's just something a little old lady would like and so comfortable and it's a rocker swivel swiveler rocker thingy doodle and um, I like it a lot better. It's hard to tell the color. I mean, I know it, it looks dark gray here, and it is. It's a dark gray, but it's got a little, I don't know if you can tell, a little bit, you can't, a little bit of uh, pale blue running through it. So I think it goes really well with the sofa. First thing I'm going to show you is this wall again. I added uh, another picture on this side. I added that picture. And then over on this side, I added that picture to kind of, it's such a huge, let me see if I can stand back and get it all in, huge wall, long wall, I should say. And I painted the frame to the center picture. It had a kind of a whitewashed edge on the frame, and I just thought it would look better painted black with all the other frames. And the gold kind of makes it pop because it is the centerpiece. So that's the change there. We did hang our chandelier in the dining room. I think it's so pretty. I love that little top air. I don't know what it's called. Little, looks like leaves coming out of the top. And Bodie likes it too. So we added that. 
if you remember when I showed you this wall, I only had these four pictures hanging and it left all the rest of this wall blank and I didn't know what to do with it. And I just racked my brain. I said, you know what? Let's just make it kind of a gallery wall. So that's what I did. I purchased this picture at Home Goods. And this one came from the light, the glare. I'm sorry about the glare. Uh, Hobby Lobby. This one, I think, was Target a year or two ago. And this one here is Target. And these two little ones I got at a consignment shop. So I think it fills in the wall really nicely, warms up the space, because this is a long haul. So I hope you like that. Then let's go into the laundry room. Here's a peek at the laundry room now. We put up this cabinet. It was just a stock cabinet from Lowe's. And I, I should have filmed, I guess, but it was so tight in here I couldn't. But we did just have a wire rack that went across. So I needed a place to put all my um, cleaning stuff that doesn't look so pretty. So my husband put that up and then he added these shelves on this side. And I think it looks so cute. I was able to unpack my mason jars that I've had forever. That one back there has spools. My grandmother was a seamstress, so it has all her, some of her spools, um, old buttons, a jar of marbles that were Dan's dad's. And these pharmaceutical bottles were um, a collection of my husband's father. He was a pharmacist, so he tried to collect those. Of course, I have to have a, have a scale in here. There's another pharmaceutical bottle. And then when we were cleaning out uh, my mother-in-law's house, I found this. I didn't know what it was, but my husband said it was used to slip in a sock and darn with. So I put that there. This little baby bottle, I have had, let's see, my son is 45 years old. I bought it uh, before we had kids. When we were thinking about having kids, I went to this antique shop, I think in Williamsburg, Virginia, and bought it. I said, oh, that'll bring me good luck when we start trying to have babies. And sure enough, it did, because we had two little boys, two baby boys. So um, there's that. So, oh, and let me tell you, these, we were going to do the pipes like we did in my other utility room, just the plumbing pipes and get them um, cut and uh, threaded. But the threading machine gizmo at Lowe's was out of order. So I ordered these brackets because I had watched Simply Lake and Lace with Holly and she had redone her um, pantry, huge pantry. And she bought these only, hers are in gold. But I thought, oh, these would look really pretty because they're black and it would pop. So, um, and I didn't realize it. I guess I didn't read the description too well. They're wrought iron, they're very heavy. Um, so I really like those. I think that turned out really good. And then of course, right here, you know, you have your necessities, the, the pods and the bounce and stuff. This cutting board came from my mother-in-law's. It was one of those that slid into a counter, you know, right underneath the counter. You pull out and you chop your, uh, vegetables or whatever on it. Okay. And then over here, I have this drying board that I got from Ballard Designs. I saw that Crystal Tara had one. Now this is a small one. She had a medium one in her and put it in her laundry room. And I thought, gosh, this is great because space is kind of limited here and I can use it to hang my delicates on. So I really like that. And then over on this side, my husband put up this um, peg rail and I got all my necessary utensils for cleaning. Uh, uh, 
bag of dog food. I've ordered a, a container for the dog food, so it's there for right now. And then I have this old, you know, I collect wisp brooms, this old vintage fly swatter. This is an old travel hanger. You know, just fold, people would fold it down in their suitcase and then open it up. And that's a Nantucket basket. And that's about it in here. Let me see if I can step back. Here's a sneak peek at my fall decor just to give you a little taste so you'll come back and see the rest of it. stopping by today. I hope you liked what we've done. I hope you will come back and see my fall home tour. It's it, it's going to be nice, I think. A um, little different. It's hard to make this house as cozy as a condo. I don't know. I guess because it's bigger more. I don't know. I don't know. But it's been a challenge anyway. So come back to see that probably in a couple weeks. I'm going to wait till September rolls in before I hit you with that. So anyway, y'all take care. Have a great Sunday and a great week. Until I see you again. Bye.